just please hear the startup of this car. <laughs> So guys, I'm giving away some stuff with Naked. Please use the link in my description. Back with another YouTube video. This time around, I've got the GWM Tank 300. If you guys will remember, I drove this car firstly in Australia. Now it's graced us in South Africa. And I didn't go to the launch. Blessing did that launch. His YouTube video is out on that launch. But this is now my long test review. I've had this car for the week now and yeah. Havas GWM, they plan on selling three, 2,000. They plan on selling 2,000 of these in a year. So that's about 150, 170 units a month. And I don't think they're going to have a huge problem with that. I'm going to take you through its exterior looks, its interior looks, how it drives, and what I think about it. But yeah, another month, another Chinese car. Starting at the front, you've got this horizontal slatted grille with a massive tank logo in it um, i think it's quite beastly you know it stands like you know like a tank you've got a 360 degree camera on there and there's so many safety systems on this car and that's one thing that i like you've got this headlight design in which one on show this is a bronco-esque <laughs> um, headlight design it's a rounded light with a vertical oh sorry horizontal um you know daytime running light on there you've got this led fog lamps on here with this bumper it's got plastic stuff on it but the steel part is inside but it just feels like it can get off but i mean hey you know you must just be careful we've got these parking sensors on there and i just think that it's a really really good looking imposing front end some you know a big nice bulge in the front of the bonnet and you know all these flared wheel arches which are on here i mean giving that ford bronco in that jeep inspired look essentially but i quite like it yeah it's it's not a bad looking car to be honest if you come around the side here if you can just come around the side you'll see these 18 inch wheels right i like this alloy design so much there's the tank logo again in there so this is not the off-roading tire but gwm will give you an option to either go for these you know normal road tires or the off-roading tires but i would instantly just go for the off-roading tires because i mean durability you can tackle any terrain without really worrying about whatever it is really that's in your way and yeah so we've got a lot of you know ground clearance as well on here so you're not really worried whatever you're doing uh you come across the side you've got this mirror with a 360 degree camera in there as well as an indicator lamp in it these running boards they don't give me confidence i don't want to lie to you they don't give me confidence i'm gonna do this but if it breaks i'm sorry gwm you know there you go um so these running boards and also i'll show you when i get inside or get, when i get inside they are not ergonomically laid out because every time you get out they're literally always right there so i think they could have been lower or just properly designed man um, yeah and keyless entry and keyless go functional roof racks these are functional roof racks i mean i had a double bed on top <laughs> the other day I'll, I'll show you guys now so yeah i think this is entirely the silhouette of the gwm tank 300 i do quite like it man it reminds me of the sisang young corando if you guys remember that or maybe i'm just showing my age but that yeah it's got that it's got so many brands in one but i mean yeah coming to the rear you've got wheel in the back old pajero vibes <laughs> but it's quite cool actually 300 badging on there as well as tank um, hev badging on the other side just a cool looking rear with the still you know the bumpers also at the back um you know these, these vertical taillights at the rear this really cool looking wheel so this is how you open it just like that so the nice thing here is that so obviously you open it like this and you don't want it to be swaying up and down you can just lock it here well my bad well you can just lock it somewhere there and then it doesn't have to sway all the other time and then you can just easily close it 400 liters of boot space that is quite a lot of boot space i'm just going to quickly show you you know that is that is a lot of boot space so you've got a 220 uh, 220 volt plug on there and yeah let's quickly jump in the interior but i think the rear i mean you can't complain there's a lot of space in here a lot of lot of space let's quickly jump in the rear 
and then we can go for a drive but i think the rear looks quite dope especially with this wheel at the back as well as your another camera right there a lot of cameras on this car and we all know that about the chinese come inside let me show you i'm inside right and i'm going to quickly speak about the running body why i said it's not quite cool so right you are inside you come out and do you see so i think they could have done done better but anyway let's speak about the interior inside you get a really cool looking interior like a really 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 cool interior the steering wheel is gorgeous with a tank logo in there multifunctional heated as well and obviously this is inspired by a g wagon so you've got the air, airplane style type of vans um <laughs> even the display as well i mean this entire dashboard where they display the 12.3 inch with apple carplay and ended auto wirelessly is mounted into in, into there a grab handle onto there which is also reminiscent of i won't mention it anymore another grab handle at the back here which is also reminiscent of yeah but a lot of room down here the wireless charging pad four us usb ports in this entire car three usb type a's and then one B type c which is quite cool this seat's electrically adjustable heated as well and ventilated with a massage function these are beautiful seats one thing about the chinese is that they never skimp out on the interior and it's gorgeous a lot of german brands can learn a lot from chinese brands actually we need to just always stop talking about how the chinese are copying but they're doing it so much better this is gorgeous i mean this car starts at 725,000 rand this one i'm in is 800 over 850 and gee it's 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 gorgeous it's brilliant it's brilliant let me take you for a drive and then take it from there Let's go for a drive in the GWM Tank 5. Ah, GWM Tank 300. You see, I'm already predicting the future. So, 2 liter turbocharged petrol engine. This is actually the only Bucky based SUV in South Africa that is uh, a petrol. The entire gang is obviously diesels so it's got one up on everybody else one up on everybody else there's so many cameras in here which help you never have to scratch whether you're off-roading whatever you're doing really you will never scratch i'm so old school i still have to look around when um as much as the cameras you know help with a lot but i think us old school people prefer this so, turbocharged petrol engine with a hybrid uh, little electric motor that develops 255 kilowatts and 648 newton meters of torque. Top of the class. Top of the class. Top of the class. Nothing else has that much torque. And this thing will go 0 to 100. Mark Jones from The Citizen got under seven seconds zero to 100 in less than seven seconds guys in a four by four yeah yeah nah. anyway so the one thing that i've noticed over the week that i've heard it is that um when that, when it goes into EV mode, it does become a slightly slug, sluggish. I don't know what's been going on. Maybe it was just my unit or whatever it is, but it's been sluggish for some reason, and I don't know why. I haven't taken it off road because I, yeah, I haven't had time to go off roading. But I mean, when we did the off road challenge, um, not challenge, when we did the off road course uh, when we were in Australia, it was extremely capable, you know. So yeah, but anyway. It's been sluggish um, at takeoff and it's been frustrating me and I'm like, what is going on? It's like the hybrid system is trying to fight with the petrol engine because it will switch off and then I have to step on it for it to get back up again. Um, I don't know if it's because the battery was sort of depleted or whatever it was, but you know, it was really, really frustrating me. Uh, but right now it's in full petrol mode, so I'm, I'm happy there. Um, you see a lot of your information here, which is something that I like. This driver's display is clear and concise, you know, so that's that. And then the digital um, infotainment as well. It's very clear, no worries whatsoever in that department. 
So yeah, it's a it's a comfortable ride. I am not going to lie to you. It's a comfortable drive. Everything is in reach, albeit everything being inside the infotainment. Everything is in within reach. Your icons are on right here for you to access without really having to worry in anything. There we go. Okay, now we back up. So, yo. I think they've done a great job, man. I don't want to lie to you. They've done an amazing job. Uh, I think for the price coming in at se from 725,000 Rand, with this one coming in at 851,000 Rand, it, which is still cheaper. So we're in high electric mode now. Now we're going. Now we're going. Yeah, so this undercuts, this top of the range, super luxury HEV model, undercuts the base Fortuner. The, 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 the equivalent Fortuner to this in terms of spec, in terms of everything else really will be over 950,000 Rand. So, they're coming in fighting, eh? They're coming in fighting, which is a good thing. But I always wonder to myself, how long can they keep doing this? Are they making profits? But anyway, I'm supposed to be telling you about the drive and my verdict. It's comfortable, obviously, because it's 4x4. Four four, you can bump through anything, really, without having to worry that, oh, no, my car is going to get, you know. It's a proper 4x4. Four four. These tires are extremely comfortable because these are the road road tires. Um, I, there isn't any road noise coming into the cabin, which is a good thing, especially if you're going to be driving this thing as a daily. Whereas if you have the off-road tires, which is an option for G, from GWM, there's definitely going to be some rubber which comes into to the cabin, which I'm not a fan of really. I like my drive, especially on the long hauls. I like my drive, you know, just subtle and um, the car doing its thing. In terms of fuel consumption, <laughs> this thing does no claim to the claimed fuel consumption, which is a bit weird for me because it's a hybrid. And I haven't been even putting, you know, pedal to the metal. It's just been a very comfortable drive, etc. But yo, 14, 14 liters per hundred kilometers is what I've been getting. One four. So I still think it's a Chinese thing where, you know, it's quite tough getting claimed fuel consumption and they do try their best, but I guess it is what it is. Um, when it came, it was giving me about 500 kilometers of range and yeah, we're sitting 110 kilometers of range now. We've done about 400 and something Ks. So not bad in terms of range perspective that is. Oh, why is my bracket shaking? Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, I am quite pleased. I mean, there's nothing not to like about this car. I don't want to lie to you. I'm not going to say um, that the bad out, uh, outweighs the, the, the good. The good is great. Look how beautiful these seats are. And they're comfortable too. Massage function. So, yeah, I mean, the interior, like I mentioned earlier, it is premium and everything. Just obviously very inspired by that other brand we won't be mentioning because this is such a G. <laughs> See what I did there. Um, yeah, yeah, guys. Anyway, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see further. I need that information from you guys. I need that information from you guys. So, yeah, guys. I wanted to go so bad into this mud and ruts. But they've got various terrains on here as well. A lot of terrains. You can literally do anything. Anything. Go through anyway. I just won't do it with these tires, obviously. I think that's the downside. Also, guys, I had a bed carried on top of the Rook Frex. They're very functional. Very functional. Very strong. They were holding my load very well. So yeah guys, um, GWM tank 300. I can't wait for the 500 because the 500 is so plush. That's going to essentially take on the Everest Platinum type of um, competition. But I think that thing is amazing, it's brilliant. So I can't wait for that. But this, for what it does, for what it is, it's perfect, it's brilliant. I think a lot of people have been looking at me like, geez, what brand is that? Because the tank logo also, it's something that people don't see. Um, and I don't I haven't seen a lot of GWM elements on here at well just like besides the the bag so yeah Nice 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 nice. I love it Let's go Ooh.
See you on the flip side, guys.